I'm back and I'm doing a follow-up to the videos I've made about how to hold your drumsticks and how to play some basic strokes. Uh, this is aimed mostly at beginners but people who've been playing for a while might find it useful to evaluate how they're holding the sticks and how they're playing the strokes as well. Uh, it's never a bad time to go back to basics and examine what we're doing there. I do it all the time. Um, but today I'm going to um, just recap a little bit uh, what we did in the first couple of videos. Uh, I do recommend you should watch them if you haven't already. Um, and uh, then I'm actually going to do uh, introduce a couple of different exercises and we're going to play along uh, with each exercise so you can actually sit with me and do the exercises um, and we're going to do them for two minutes each. One, two, a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. As we sit down at our drum kit or sitting in front of a practice pad, however you're going to practice this stuff, um, it's always a good idea to first sit, make sure your bum is planted firmly on the stool, uh, make sure that you feel comfortable, uh, check the height of the stool. We want to have the, the bum at least a little bit higher than the knees um, and we want to have the snare drum or the pad set. So it, the front of the snare or the pad is about belly button height. It's different from each person, but something around around there is a good idea. And we're going to sit, hold the back straight, and sit in a sort of uh, alert yet relaxed way. You're going to have your spine nice and straight, but you don't want to be like this, as if you're a soldier or something like this. Um, but you don't want to be all slouched like that either. So spine nice and straight, shoulders relaxed, and uh, a good exercise to do just to know how to position the hands before we grab our sticks is to drop the hands by the side and let your arms just dangle without any action happening, without any uh, muscle activity, and then gently bring your hands forward so that they're parallel to the floor. And your forearms um, are holding your hands so your hands are still about elbows width apart. As I said before, you don't want to sit like this with your hands or like this. You want to have your hands, again, give or take elbows width apart. And just remember, everybody's built a little bit differently. So you might have um, things looking a little bit differently to the way I'm doing, and I'm far from perfect anyway. But um, you just want to think about this as a good starting point. That works for just about anybody. Now, if I uh, grab my sticks here, and we're going to hold them in that same way, OK? Um, I'm holding the stick as I explained in my previous video, with my index finger and thumb with the thumbprint on the stick about a third of the way up, uh, which allows optimal bounce uh, for a normal pair of sticks. Um, and the other three fingers are wrapped around the stick like this so that my middle finger can carry the weight of the stick. My middle finger is the pivot of the seesaw. Okay, and my thumb and index finger are holding the stick and helping it just stay in a straight line as it goes up and down. Okay, so when I take this starting position, I've got my sticks pointing at the middle of the, the drum or the pad. And then if you were to lift up your hands like this, you can see the sticks create a sort of triangular shape or a shape of a, an A. And uh, you'll notice that the stick is kind of lined up so that the uh, back end of the stick, the butt end, if you don't mind, uh, is resting against the pad of my hand here or the heel of the, the palm. I don't know if there's a better term for that. but. Um, we're, we're going to notice that the sticks are not going to be sticking out like so, and they're not going to be exactly in line with the arms, but they're going to be ever so slightly pointed inwards like so. Yeah, so that the, the back of the stick, the butt end, is coming into contact with the heel of my hand when I move the stick. Okay, so uh, just uh, one more time, I'm going to demonstrate just some bouncing, right? We're trying to uh, get the stick to move using the hand only. We're not going to get the arm involved. It might move sympathetically with the movement of your hand. That's kind of natural. You're not going to try and like tighten everything up so that your arms don't move at all. But all of the motion comes from the movement of your hand. Okay. And uh, again, watch the other videos that I made about this. And try and get yourself really comfortable just with the bouncing of the stick at first, okay? It doesn't come immediately. You have to practice quite a lot before it starts to feel like natural and comfortable. What 
what we're trying to achieve here is to allow the hand to throw the stick down, again, using the energy from your muscles, but when the stick bounces up, your hand is kind of getting out of the way of the stick or just following the movement of the stick. So you are actively using your muscles, but you're not pulling the stick back up, uh, you're just letting the hand follow the stick. Once you're feeling comfortable with the rebound of the stick and you feel like you're starting to understand and uh, feel this bounciness of the stick, um, it's time to do some exercises that are going to help us further develop our ability to bounce the sticks and to, to, to learn how to play some basic, just even nice strokes and get your hands moving a little bit. Um, the exercise we're going to play today, uh, we're going to start off with something uh, I know is a rebound strokes exercise. We're just going to bounce the sticks eight times with each hand. Um, next, we're going to play single strokes, which means right, left, right, left, right, left. After that, we're going to play double strokes, which is right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. We're then going to play a single paradiddle, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And finally, we're going to play an inverted paradiddle. And I'm going to um, play each of these exercises for two minutes using a metronome set at 80 beats per minute. And don't worry if, you, if you're not used to using a metronome, just do your best to play along with me if you feel like that's uh, helpful and uh, we'll kind of do it as a little exercise routine. And I'd invite you to try and, uh, if you're just starting out playing the drums, or as I say, even if you're trying to just sort out some um, uh, improvements to your, your stick technique, uh, sit and do these exercises every single day. I think it's really, really helpful, even if you do uh, short amounts of practice, but to emphasize doing every single day, uh, that will help you to, to progress better than anything. And then over time you can you can grow the, the actual amount of time you spend practicing. But I think developing a kind of routine of doing uh, every day, every day practice is really, really good for you. Here's our first exercise. Again, we're going to hold our sticks above our snare drum or practice pad like so. And we're going to play what I know is a rebound stroke exercise. So we're just going to play eight strokes with each hand, counting eighth notes one bar with one hand and one bar with the other hand. One bar of the right hand and one bar of the left hand. If you're left-handed or if you want to play with the left hand first, please go ahead. I'm going to count out loud and I think it's a good idea for you to do that as well. So the exercise goes one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. Let's do the rebound strokes exercise two minutes. Here's the click. Just going to set the timer, and here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and breathing is allowed. And three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and done. That's it. 
There we go, well done. That's two minutes of rebounds. Next, we're going to play single strokes. Uh, single strokes involves playing right, left, right, left, right, left. Uh, alternatively, you can play left, right, left, right, left, right, if you prefer. One thing to be aware of when you're first starting out, uh, remember we're trying to learn how to rebound the stick. We are learning how to rebound the stick. And uh, when people start uh, learning this and uh, they do the rebounds, the stick starts bouncing nicely. Uh, and then you start playing single strokes and we end up getting something a bit like this, where we repress the bounce of the stick. It's quite natural. Uh, I think the majority of people I introduce this exercise to for the first time will tend to do something like this. Holding the stick down, maybe pulling it back up or maybe not. Maybe just pulling it back up at the last minute. Okay. Uh, the object of this exercise is to really train the hands to get the sticks to bounce and for your hands to get out of the way of the stick so that your muscles are actively throwing the stick down but actually following the stick back up again. And again, it takes some time to get used to this, all right? But that's how we play the single stroke. So do your best to let your hands follow the stick back up so it bounces immediately after it hits the pad without any interruption. Um, also, you may have noticed during the uh, previous exercise, the rebounds, I was watching my hands periodically. And uh, it seems uh, quite obvious to some people, but sometimes you don't think to do that. But it's a really good idea. Uh, actually, it's essential. You need to watch your hands and get used to uh, what the sticks look like when they're moving and get used to seeing how your hands are gripping the stick. And, uh, you know, when you first start out, you think, what, you know, what the hell am I actually looking at here anyway? You know, it's just my hands moving. But over time, um, by deliberately looking, you're going to start seeing how the, um, the way you're holding the stick and the way your hands are moving affects everything that you're doing with the drum. So learn how to look and, and observe, even if it doesn't make any sense what you're really looking for at the start. Um, so let's go for that uh, two minutes of single strokes. I'm going to bring the click back in and set the timer, which will go ding or bloink or whatever, uh, so we know it started. And we're going to play for two minutes. Here we go, single strokes for two minutes. Four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, you don't really have to count the single strokes all the way if you feel comfortable enough just playing them. Or you could say right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, if you like. Okay, that's it. You might find it's a little bit uh, tricky focusing on these exercises. They're, you know, we're trying to get the sticks to bounce very evenly. We're trying to make the same sound with each stick, basically. And uh, I can't help while I'm sitting there thinking about uh, when's 
when am I going to have a nice cup of tea or whatever I might be thinking about. Um, so don't worry. Uh, I think uh, just playing these exercises in part uh, is helping you develop an ability to just focus on a repetitive action. And uh, so much of what we do uh, to get good at our instrument, and uh, this is true for all instruments, is having to repeat stuff over and over again. So just doing these exercises for a little bit helps you get used to that if you've never done something like this before. Now we're ready for the double strokes. Uh, the double strokes simply means two with the right hand, two with the left. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Um, I recommend saying it out loud. I'm a big fan of verbalizing things, whether it's counting out loud or saying right, right, left, left. Uh, for the sticking and with the paradiddle and inverted paradiddle we're going to do it and with the double strokes um, for a lot of people it, it'll keep you honest uh, if you've never done this before it might seem simple but people get mixed up playing double strokes so I think it's worth saying right right left left and that's what we're going to do so let's do our two minutes I'm going to bring up the click and here goes wait for the ding the timer one Two, three, four. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Left, left, right, right. 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 Left, left. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Left, left. Left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Left, left, right, right, 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 left, 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 right, right, 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 left, left, right, right. Right, right, left, left, 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 right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left, 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 right, right, left, left. Left, left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, left, done. Next one is the single paradiddle. The single paradiddle is a combination of single strokes and double strokes. So we have a right, left, and then a right, right. Two singles and a double stroke, then left, right, left, left, two single strokes and a double stroke, essentially. Um, so it goes like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And notice I'm still bouncing my sticks all the way up to 90 degrees there. Um, we want to get a big full stroke. Uh, that's what we're trying to ch uh, teach our hands to do at this stage. Um, so let's do this. Two minutes. Again, I strongly recommend you say it out loud, at least until you know that you've internalized the pattern, until you've memorized it so that you always play it correctly. Okay, here we go. Click coming. And here's the timer. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right.
right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. your paradiddle out of the way. Finally, the inverted paradiddle. The inverted paradiddle is similar to the paradiddle, but we've got the, the doubles in a different position. And the inverted paradiddle goes right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Uh, also sometimes known as diddles in the middle, the diddles being the double strokes, okay? It goes like this. Right, left, left, right, left, Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Um, like the single paradiddle, I would memorize this. Uh, there's two other permutations of the single paradiddle as well, but I won't go into those now. It's probably enough for you just to get the single paradiddle and the inverted paradiddle. But memorize both of those patterns. That means learn to play them so well that you don't have to think about them at all. Um, again, same thing. I'm going to, for my sins, Verbalize. I'm going to say the sticking out loud throughout the whole exercise. And here comes the timer with the annoying beep. Two, three, four. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, 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 right, left, right, right, left, right. Left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, right, left, stop. Okie dokie, that's it. So we have played rebound strokes, single strokes, double strokes, the single paradiddle, and the inverted paradiddle. That's five exercises, two minutes each. Uh, see if you can get used to doing that every single day, and you'll notice quite quickly that you're developing some skills using a pair of drumsticks. Um, let me know 
what you think and if, if you found this helpful and easy to understand. If you've got any question or comments, uh, you know what to do, uh, hit the like and subscribe and all of that stuff that you have to say on YouTube. Uh, if you want to, you can or just get in touch if you'd like some uh, lessons or if you have any follow-up questions or comments. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you on the next video.